Hello! It's Papa Ted again. I'm going to do a wee review again of FTL this time. This is a strategy roguelike game. It's indie, as always. Um, and it's out on Steam. Now, I got this a wee while ago and it has been out for a wee while, but it is one of the best indie games I've played in ages. Show you how it works. So basically, when you start off, you get your ship. This time it's called the Kestrel, but you can rename it whatever you want. So I'm going to call it the Jobby. Yeah, you like that. Okay, and uh, you can rename your staff here. So there's a guy. Rename him. Big manly name. Papa. Ted. Sexy. And uh, here's a lassie, so <laughs> I'm gonna rename her Wee Joe. You'll like that. So basically you have your your uh, crew and your ship. You've got all your stats here that you level up as you go through the game. And um, basically I'll show you how it works. So we've got the ship name, we've got our we've got our crew. Oh, Asia. Wee Joe. Wait a minute now. What's happened here? Ah! I changed the sex there. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Right, okay. Accept. So, normally you, you do unlock lots of uh, other kinds of ships as you go through the game. The NG Cruiser. Ah! That one looks a bit like a... Uh... Anyway. Um, so, we'll just stick with the main one. So, easy, normal, we'll just go with normal and we'll start off. So, you get these text things every time you go into a new sector. So, the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for your journey. So, make sure you explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before pursuing the rebel fleet you can catch up. Fuel. So, every time you move between um, the galaxies, you use fuel. So, it's just static at the moment. Um, yeah, again, the the music in this game is just, it's so relaxing. This, this is a Sunday afternoon game, which it happens to be today, and uh, just listen to some of this beautiful music. Isn't that just lovely? So you've got your start, your crew here. Papa Ted, me, I'm obviously the captain, so he's at the console. And you choose your person to kind of and where they want to work. So it more comes into play during battle. So I'll get um, Aisha here to work in the shield room. She'll start building the shields. Now down here you've got your power. Down here you've got your your shield, your engine. O2, O2 is very important and your med bay for healing your your crew. So I've got three more blocks here to use up and uh, I've got the engine here so I'll use that to power that up. Now if I put Wee Joe in here, um, it's okay at the moment because I'm right at the start of the game but basically if he's working on the console in there then he'll make it charge up faster so I can jump quicker. This is the I suppose world map is it where you're trying to get to here given three choices, you can go to either one, and either one will give you a different outcome. So let's go here. So when I used that, I used fuel, which is up here. So I've come across an enemy. Soon after arriving in the system, you are hailed by a small cruiser. What good fortune that we happen to run into each other. Nothing personal, but we have some information you need. It's hostile, is it? So they're wanting a fight. So, basically, I'm going to get Joe to go in here. Now, he's fixing that. Now I need to charge. So once he's charged, I can then use it and I can choose where I want to shoot. So I want to shoot probably at their weapons. Thank you. 
but they've got a shield. So to break their shield, I want to use a missile. Or do I want to use a laser? I've forgotten. <laughs> right, so their weapons are down now. I can take out maybe their O2. So it's very tactical, so you want to choose where, where you're going to shoot. So I chose their weapons first because I wanted them to stop shooting me, <laughs> which is obviously really important. Then I chose their O2. Now, that's basically obviously space, no oxygen, blah blah blah. Your crew member has to survive on the O2 that's in the ship. So if you destroy their O2 supplies, then it'll start leaking out their ship. They'll have to go and fix it if they don't want to die. So that means all their crew will then move to that part to fix it. So then you have a chance to attack them a bit. So, let's, uh, let's go on here. Oh, they've made a... Yep. So they decided to surrender there. So, um, to surrender them, they'll give you some ransom. You can take it, and if you destroy them, then you'll maybe get some more. But they might uh, come back later on with some of their pals. Well, they won't come back, but their pals might come back and say, "What are you doing? You know, what are you doing, our pal? We're going to get you now." So we don't really need Joe at the weapons anymore. So let's take him back here. Obviously I was fighting, but this jump FTL drive up here, every time you jump it needs to charge. So Joe's back at the um, engines here, so if he was here and I was wanting to jump quicker by having a member of the crew working on it, it would charge up quicker. So let's take away this, use it on our shields, which was actually probably a stupid idea. Uh, I took away the shields during that fight. I think that was pretty retarded of me. <laughs> Anywho, let's see how we look. So, actually, up here, current scrap total, that's what you use to upgrade your ship. You can go here. So here that costs 20 to upgrade shields, 15 for your engine. Let's uh, upgrade... Let's upgrade uh, the shield, and I promise next time I will use it. So let's jump stress beacon. Now sometimes these can be traps, but let's go anyway. You locate the source of a distress call. Nearby human mining colony. An unknown disease is spread among the workers. They're trying to set a quarantine to mitigate the spread of the disease, but lack any enforcement and a riot seems likely. So you can decide to um, basically intervene there and try and do something about it, or you can just move on just for the sake of this video, make it a wee bit more exciting. With the visible threat of your weapons, the infected become subdued enough for you to set up rudimentary quarantine. So, basically they've realised that they didn't want a fight, so they've subdued, and I've got three missiles, drone parts, and scrap, which is bra. So, let's have a wee look. Although, it seems... Ah, oh, bollocks! <laughs> I've sent in one of my crew and I've not got them back. Oh, uh, well, me and we Joe, we're still here. We're still here, so. <laughs> so that's all the universe needs, to be fair. So yeah, I I really like the style of this game. You can play it at your own pace. It's the fights are tactical. You can pause the fights to think about it. It's just a really relaxed game. It's yeah, it's under a tenner. Completely worth your money. Um, I really recommend anyone to try this out. So let's just continue on a wee bit here. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. Must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. So they're just pirates? Yeah, fuck it, I'm an evil bastard. So I destroyed their ship and took all their shit. <laughs> Um, so I've got 28, let's see if I can upgrade something here. Powers up the FTL drive allows the ship to dodge. So, very tactical if you like your tactics. And yet again, just listen to that music. This here is the hull. Now, you can repair this if you go to shops uh, that you come across. But, um, 
it's not very easy to just get your health back so that's why it's a good idea to watch, you have to watch your fuel as well because otherwise you might get stuck in the middle of space. Drone parts, therefore you can build drones that will float around your ship during a battle and they will um, basically repair or they might do damage to the other ship. That music is just beautiful eh? Right, let's go to the end of this. This here, warning, that's the Federation. They're coming in, they're chasing you. So if you linger too long, so you, I could go back the way if I wanted, and I could go to all of these, but this will slowly creep up. And if I get caught in there, then I'll have to fight one of their ships, and they are tough. Don't really want that. So let's go to the exit. So here we go, it's charging. I'll hire a guy actually because I got rid of that other wifey. <laughs> so let's go. All these distress beacons. Whoa! Yeah, this is a nebula here, so when I go here. Whoa! I should probably shouldn't have gone here. be working on the shields to be honest. I'm gonna get owned here. Oh no. Oh no. Ah fuck you. Oh, I'm gonna get owned. Oh fuck now. <laughs> oh no. Can I warp? Fuck it. Work on that. If I can charge this quick enough. Nah, I've had it. I've had it. Well, I hope you liked the review, it was a bit short lived. Uh, I'd probably give this game a 9 out of 10. Oh well, me and we Joe out into the depths of space. Oh no! Ah. Brilliant game. 122. Beat that.